Now it's time to take that image that we just, that ad image that we just created and we're going to host it uh, on free image ad hosting uh, websites so that we can use it on our Craigslist ads. Now if you have your own website you can host your image from your own website uh, but there can be some downfalls to that. If uh, Craigslist is able to identify that all these ads are coming from the same domain name uh, then it might pick up on that consistency and, and ghost you. Uh, so what you can do is you, there are multiple places where you can host image ads uh, or images for free and Craigslist, uh, you know, if you find places like tinypix.com uh, where thousands and thousands of people use those hosting companies to host their images for Craigslist, Craigslist overlooks those. They don't ghost them because uh, they recognize that it's a free tool that, that a lot of people are taking advantage of. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to locate the fold, the actual um, picture that we saved. This is the image ad that we saved. Uh, we created and saved it as an image in a, the previous video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make two more copies of this. I'm going to right click on the image and hit copy. And then I'm right click again and hit paste. And then one more time, right click and paste. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have the same picture. I want to be able to use the same image. But I want to trip up Craigslist and change the name of the image so that it appears to be like it's different pictures. So I'm just going to name this one one, two, three, four, five, and this one will be A, B, C, D, E. So we've got three images, they're all the same, they're just named differently. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go into a place like tinypix.com and upload all three of these images, and when we upload the image, it gives us a link, and we're going to save each one of those links. Um, but what I'm going to show you how to do now is to prepare a Word document to keep track of where all your images are hosted. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is we're going to go ahead and download the starter packages if you haven't already you just click on the click here to download the starter package it's also in your toolbox and you can either save the file or open it i'm going to go ahead and open it and right here is the zip file opened up that i just downloaded it and it's got some information and templates in here uh, that you're going to be dealing with a little later on in some later videos what you're going to want to do is, is just grab this Craigslist posting folder and you want to click and drag it right out here onto your desktop. As you can see, I've already got my Craigslist posting folder here, so I'm not going to drag it on. But you would drag it onto your desktop. And then, then open up this folder, and we're going to add a text document in here. Uh, we're going to right click, go down to New, and click on Text Document. And we're going to name this Images Hosted. Right here is a text document where you're going to be keeping track of your passwords and stuff like that, your accounts and passwords once we get on to creating our Craigslist accounts. And here is a, a text document with uh, the actual template of the ad. We're going, to, we're going to be going over how to use this, but this is the template that I use to post all my ads. It's very easy to use and it, and it really uh, gets uh, your ads on Craigslist without getting caught by the uh, you know the Craigslist bots. So anyway, so we got our images hosted document here. And I'm going to open it up. It should be a blank document. I'm just going to minimize it. We're going to be coming back here with uh, the links to our images once we get them hosted. Uh, let's open up the internet again, and I'm going to open up a new window, and we're just going to do a search for free image hosting. Just to show you, there's tons and tons of companies that you or websites that you can host your images um, and what I do is I have three or four image hosting companies then I just upload my images and I keep track of all my links uh, so I'm just gonna go to tiny pics and show you how we do this what you do is you click on the browse then you locate that fault that file the image on your computer that you want to put on your ad and I'm gonna just start with this one upload it and right here it gives me the image or it gives me the link so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy hit control C and I'm gonna open up this notepad that I just made right up here this image is hosted and I'm gonna make I'm gonna say uh, best barbecue and all underneath here I'm gonna have all my best barbecue links there's one now I'm gonna go back to the internet and I'm gonna upload more Click on browse. Now I'm going to open up. Now I'm going to upload this same image, but it's it's named differently. 
Okay, then I'm going to copy and paste that onto my list of images. And then we go back and I'm going to upload the third one. So you can see it doesn't actually take a lot of time, it just takes a few moments to get this set up. Copy that and paste it. So here we have the same image hosted at tinypix.com. It's three different images. And then another thing that you're going to have to do with this tinypix, I don't know why they do this, but all these things in the brackets you want to take out where it says IMG in the brackets. It's, there's one at the front and one at the back of each line. I don't know why it sticks it in there, but it doesn't need to be there. So here we have our three different images that we're going to be um, using in our ad. I suppose that is it. Now that we have our images hosted, we will be able to use these in our, in our ad template. You're going to see how we use this in just a little while. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to click on save so that it saves that, Im that information. Okay, so we've changed our IP address. We've gone over how to create ad images. We've gone over how to get your images hosted. The next steps we're going to do is we're going to create multiple email accounts. Then the next video is going to show you how to create multiple Craigslist accounts. And then the next video is actually going to, we're going, actually going to take all of this stuff that we've learned in the first five videos and apply all of them to our templates. And then we're going to start posting. It may still sound a little bit confusing, but once you see how all of this ties together, you're going to have a good understanding of how to get your ads on Craigslist without getting ghosted or flagged. So I'll see you in just a moment. We will be creating multiple email accounts.